Hey everyone, it's Allie and I'm back again. I just finished shooting my favorite comforting scents and today I'm gonna to be bringing you another video, but I'm going to be talking about my favorite affordable men's scents. So this one is for my guys out there. And yeah, I have six scents that I highly suggest checking out. There are some little hidden gems in here that I think are little hidden gems that just smell so, so good. And like I normally do, I'm gonna link everything down below for you guys that I can find and everything. But these are just beautiful, stunning scents in my opinion. And they're pretty dang affordable. Like some of these you can find super, super easy. So now to get into the video, the first one that I wanna talk about is a stunning one for summer. And summer is approaching really, really fast. And this one is Artist and Pure by John Barbados. And you guys, oh my god. This is like one of the sexiest men's citrus scents that I have smelt in a long time. This has a lot of citrus in it. You've got lemon, bergamot, mandarin, clementine. Like you've got the entire citrus line pretty much. It's got very aromatic qualities to it. Being that it has thyme, margarine, pedigree. It's got ginger in this too, giving it like a zingy effect, which is really, really nice for summer you've got woods orris root amber musk like this scent has got it going on the bottle is sexy it's super affordable i found this at tj maxx for like 25 dollars maybe which for me is like so good for what you're getting super citrusy so addictive this is a perfect scent to just put on you know white t-shirt and jeans spray on and go Spend the day outside when it's hot out. This is going to radiate off of you so amazingly. It's so fresh, but so aromatic and sort of herbally at the same time. It almost gives me like an Aventus vibe. Obviously, it's not Aventus or like close to it. But that sort of like bright citrusy herbally effect that Aventus has, this definitely gives me. And I really love it. And for the price, you guys, it's so good. It's a little synthetic-y smelling to me, but that doesn't deter me from this being such a good find. So sexy, so easy to throw on. I love how bitter it is because of the bergamot. I get a lot of the bergamot in this. Lemon and bergamot are like top to my nose. I definitely get that herbalness from that margarine and that thyme. So, so good. Easy blind buy in my opinion if you like fresh, clean, citrusy scents. This is great for out of the shower, an easy throw on and go scent. Perfect for the summer. You guys like highly suggest checking this out. If you find it at your TJ Maxx or Ross or wherever or online, I highly suggest scooping it up, especially if you're looking for something to wear during the summer. John Barbados Artisan Pure is so, so good. Now the next one that I'm going to talk about is one that I think is like a real hidden gem. I don't see a lot of people talk about this one, but it's so, so good. And it's from a brand that you wouldn't really expect, especially for a men's scent. This is from Juicy Couture and this one is Dirty English. It's the only men's scent that they offer for men from the Juicy Couture line. You guys, this is amazing. You got peppered mandarin blue cypress, which I really do get in this. And I get a lot of cedar in this as well. Vetiver, you've got oud, you've got amber, you've got musk, cardamom, black leather accords, which I sort of get from this. And when I smell this, I smell like a really expensive, luxurious study. And I mean like a room, like a study room that's got like tons of books on the shelves. Everything is made out of wood. It's very like old school vintagey smelling. You definitely get that smell from the wood furniture in there. And I, I picture a man sitting on a really expensive black leather couch reading an old dusty book in a beautiful like cedar made study. And this is so, so good. This smells so expensive to me. And I don't see a lot of people talk about this one or I don't see a lot of hype behind this one. And I think I got this for like around 20 something bucks, which is like super crazy to me being that this smells so, so good. 
if you love woody sort of dusty very manly scents then this is a really good one don't be deterred because it's juicy couture there is nothing feminine about this scent this screams a man in my opinion this screams educated man this screams put together man this screams just man and i adore this i adored it i adore it for its woodiness i adore it for its spiciness its leatheriness all those beautiful spices in this too i don't think i mentioned it, it has like cumin cardamom it's got sandalwood <sighs> absolutely stunning i absolutely love this one it's a gorgeous scent it stays pretty linear i feel like as it dries down it just becomes more cedar like which I enjoy, like I've said in the past, there's a cedar mill not too far from where I live, so I'm used to the smell of cedar, and this gives me such a cedary vibe. So my fans of cedar, definitely check this one out. Gorgeous one, highly recommended, so underestimated. Don't be fooled because it's Juicy Couture. This is manly. I really, really, really love that one. The next one that I'm gonna talk about is Cuba Gold. And you guys, this one you can find for like super cheap at Ross. Like, I think I paid under $10 for this bottle. And it's a pretty big bottle. I think it's like a, yeah, 3.3 fluid ounce bottle. This gives me such a Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal vibes. And if you love Lamal, but it might be a little too pricey for you. And it's not really in your price like range right now. Especially with everything going on in the world. People are cutting back on a lot of things. You guys, this is such a good one. You really get that fougere, that sweet fougere vibe that uh, Lamal is known for. You've got notes of pink pepper in this, grapefruit, vetiver, vanilla, lavender. You've got that amber and that tonka in this that gives it that sort of sweetness. Beautiful. This is so good for just stepping out of the shower and spraying on. It's got such a clean effect, very barbershop-like, but very sweet at the same time. It's so, so good. I love this one. Such an easy blind buy, in my opinion. If you're already a fan of Fougeres, if you're not afraid to rock something a little sweet, or if you just love Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mans, this is pretty much that scent, not identical but definitely really close and definitely a good, you know, blind buy if you're into those kinds of scents, being that it's super affordable too. I mean, this is one of those scents you can take anywhere you want with you and just sort of spray it and go because it's so inexpensive. You can go ham with the sprays, do what you want, live your best life. I don't care, but this smells so, so good, you guys. Check this one out, Cuba Gold by Cuba Fragrances. Really awesome one. The next one that I'm going to talk about is another really accessible one. This one is Stetson Black. And you guys, this is a gorgeous one and it's so affordable. You can find this at Walmart, which is pretty accessible to pretty much most people out there. Grocery stores usually have Stetson. Like, it's a really affordable brand, but this one in particular, I'm not the biggest fan of the original. It's good, but it's not my favorite after I smelled this one. This one smells so, so sexy to me. Sandalwood, spices, lavender, woody notes, and you get this really lovely suede accord in this. The suede is what makes this scent so sexy and playful. And just all around, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. This could easily be a date night scent, another easy throw on and go scent. You don't have to be scared of going ham because it's so inexpensive. I think it was like around $13, $14 that I paid for this bottle. And it's so, so good. It's like a sweetened suede with some woody undertones. And it's just very, very dreamy and sexy. My cowboys out there, you want to go on a date? Wear this one. So, so good, you guys. I, I really do enjoy it. And for the price, you can't really beat it. You know, it's not like the most special scent out there, but it's definitely a good one, especially if you're on a budget. This is, like I said, an easy one to like throw on and go. Really good for date nights. It's very, very versatile in my opinion. You can wear it during the day, you can wear it at night, you can wear it for 
a special occasion. You can wear it just to go to the grocery store, dressed up, dressed down, doesn't matter. Spray and go, easy little blind buy. Stetson Black. Now, the next one that I'm gonna talk about is one that I've talked about in the past. Y'all, I love this one so, so much. London by Burberry. You've got notes of lavender, bergamot, cinnamon, mimosa. You get this really beautiful leather and tobacco note in this. Oh God, it's so good. Guyac wood and oak moss. And you guys, this is sexy. It's like tart, but it's like tobacco-y. It's really playful. It's really fun. It's really fresh. It's sexy. It's so many different things. And I just love this so much. It's got a slight aromatic quality because of that lavender and bergamot but it's really calmed down by those spices in this as well. And I get a lot of that tobacco leaf in this. And I almost get like this tart, almost like cherry effect. And I know that's weird being that it's not listed, but it gives me like a tart cherry tobacco scent kind of feel. And I really, really do enjoy this one. Another one that I found at my local TJ Maxx for not that much. I think I paid like under $30 for this big old bottle. And it's really beautiful. Great for date nights, great for throwing on casually, great for a lot of things, honestly, and I absolutely love this one. The last one that I'm gonna talk about is one that was like, back in its day when it launched, it was huge. I can see why it's still, to my nose, a really great scent. I kind of really like this one a lot. And that's Unforgivable, blah, blah, blah. Unforgivable by Sean John guys this is such a good men's scent in 2007 this one this won the fifi award for the men's luxe category for good reason this is gorgeous it's chock full of tons of citrus you guys it's chock full of tons of different citruses you've got birch leaf you've got basil which adds a little bit of an herbaliness to this juniper lavender iris clary sage a lot of very aromatic notes and you definitely get that iris giving it a sort of powdery feel but it's really bright because of all the different citruses in it and you really get those citruses in the opening it's gonna spray it on my hand ah oh, beautiful tonka and amber you get a rum accord which you really do get in this which is kind of fun about it and honestly i can see why this won so many awards and lastly, cashmere and woods, which help round out all the different like contrasting notes. So sensual, so sexy, so alluring. Like this scent draws you in and it draws you in hard. You want to smell more of this scent. Also great for right out of the shower. Great for going out and clubbing. Great for date nights, going to a bar, going to dinner. You can wear this dressed up, dressed down, easy reach and really inexpensive for what it is. And being that it won the Fifi Award in 2007, you know this ain't playing around. It's a it's a killer scent for a reason. There was a lot of hype when this one came out. I think I was like in junior high school when this came out. So it's been quite a while, but you guys, this is stunning. It's a really sexy, aromatic, citrusy sort of slightly woody scent and it's so good and the addition of that rum sort of makes it really grown smelling to me still youthful playful but there's a grown aspect to it because of that sexy rum effect making it just a really cool interesting different scent but yeah those are the six different ones i have for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and this was helpful for you um till next time stay safe everyone and be smart about going out and don't buy out the Walmart. Y'all don't need that much toilet paper. I'm telling you now. Calm, calm yourselves down. Save some for the people that need it. But yeah, till next time you guys. I will catch you later and I hope you like this video. And I will bring you something new next week. Bye.